This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries Unit 6 Physical Programming Lesson 2 Designing Screens with Code Puzzle 8. Hidden. Design elements have a property called hidden that controls whether the element should show on a screen or not. We are going to use this property to create an alarm app. Notice that when the program starts one button is hidden and one is not. So a property is just a part of an object, right? So um, you could have the property human and maybe property uh, human dot name is equal to Bob, human dot age is equal to 36. So it's like a container for a bunch of variables. Anyways, um, we have already set up an event handler for a trigger alarm button. Yep, and I guess that's, yep. So when on the event of this, trigger alarm button being clicked, uh, it will run this code. And what happens, we set the property for the status label, which is this, right? Is this the status label? No, that's the alarm label. So status label, we set the text to on. So this should change to on. What else do we set? We set the property for stop alarm button. Stop alarm. Yep, that's this. To hidden. Uh, false. Oh, okay, so we set it to not hidden. So if it's set to false here, right? So that's a Boolean expression. It must be showing it. And if we set it to true, it would hide. Change the text property of status. Okay. Oh, that's what I just said. Yep. Okay. So add code to provide the event to the provided event handler that hides the trigger alarm button. Well, let's see what this does. Oh, and since the alarm's been triggered, what they're saying, okay, we need a set property, and then what ID, well, trigger alarm button is the ID. What do we want to do? We want to take the hidden property there and set it to true, which should hide it. Oh, we have an anime. Cool. Victory. That's neat. This property thing and how we're going to be able to use it. Uh, and we can set on event functions or listeners up for both buttons. And I bet we'll do that in the future. Let's uh, keep going.